Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Blue Golf Ball here today with another Pokemon TCG online video. And today I have something a little bit different for you guys. I have Isho Man here in the building with me. We are both going to be playing. He's going to be playing a Volcanion deck. I'm going to be playing a Dark Ride deck. Not a Dark Ride EX deck, but the Dark Ride with the Abyssal Sleep. Uh, that is the promo from uh, the uh, Generations Collection box. And so uh, we're going to be doing two deck analysis today. That way it's two for one. You guys get to see uh, me kind of do a little deck analysis on uh, the Volcanion deck, uh, EX deck, and then also for the Dark Ride deck. I'm going to be playing the Dark Raid deck. Ishra Man's going to be playing the Volcanion deck. I thought we could try this right now. Uh, try something new. You guys will be seeing footage from both perspectives, from his hand and my hand, but I'm going to be doing commentary, live commentary from only my perspective. So we'll give this a try. See how you guys like it. And uh, maybe if you guys don't like it, you know, I, I mean, I'm going to try this for a couple videos uh, and see how it goes. But uh, yeah, so you can see I have a lot of uh, theme decks. But anyways, Let's go ahead and take a look at this Darkrai deck. So this is going to be a deck that I'm going to be playing. It's not built around this Darkrai EX. I play one copy in here in case we do need to do a Dark Pulse. But ideally, this deck is going to be built around this Darkrai right here. The 110 HP Darkness Pokemon. It has for 2 energy, 1 Darkness and 1 Colorless. Dark Cutter hits for 30 for 2 Darkness energy and 1 Colorless. Abyssal Sleep, 80 damage. This is going to be our main attack. We're going to try to pull this off. Abyssal Sleep is an effect that has your opponent's active Pokemon uh, asleep. And then... Your opponent's Pokemon, or your opponent, the player, has to flip two coins uh, instead of one. And if one of them is tails, then the Pokemon stays asleep. So it's kind of like, like a sleep lock. Um, of course, there's a lot of loopholes in this, you know, especially if you're playing uh, one of the uh, valleys, the reverse valleys. But, you know, not this reverse valley, but like Parallel City. I don't know, not Parallel City, but I forgot which one it was. But you can prevent yourself from being asleep. Uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be combining this with Erratos. Now, that means that we will be poisoning ourselves, which is not a bad idea. Because poison is not scared once you return before your attack. You can use this ability. Both active Pokemon are now poisoned besides uh, grass-type Pokemon. So, what this will do is if you put your opponent to sleep and they have to flip two times, uh, you can poison them with Erratos' uh Poisonous Nest, and then you can use Zorark to stand in, and with the Float Stone, you can retreat. And that way, thus removing the poison damage from your Darkrai, which is 110 HP. But wait, there's more. We do play two Fighting Fury Belts, which I'll get to that in a little bit. But we're just focused on the Pokemon. <laughs> Alright, so I'm getting ahead of myself. That's kind of the idea. So that means you'll be hidden for 80. But I, like I did, I mentioned the fight, uh, Fighting Fury Belt. There's no more Muscle Band in the standard format. You'll be hitting for 10 more damage. And I did mention the Reverse Valley here, which choose uh, this way your card faces. And if it's facing you, your Darkness Pokemon can do 10 more damage. And that means Abyssal Sleep will be hitting for 100 damage. Plus the poison damage, which comes between turns. So from your turn heading to your opponent's turn, that's another 10 damage. Your opponent's turn coming back to your turn, that's another 10 damage. That's 120 damage right there uh, in, in one turn, which is which is not bad for, you know, it's not bad. And and they stay asleep, very likely, very, absolutely very likely. They, they're going to be flipping two, co two coins. They need to get two heads to be awake. And, uh, yeah, so, you know, chances are maybe they'll be sleeping and maybe come into your turn. You hit them with another abyssal sleep and they keep flipping tails. I don't know. By then, you probably knock them out, you know. So, we do have one Dark Rite EX here. Like I mentioned, 180 HP Darkness Pokemon has two retreat costs. As well as this guy, they do have two retreat costs. For some reason, Dark Rite just is a little bit clunkier. I don't know. Dark Pulse hit for 20 plus, a good 20 base damage. And this attack does 20 more damage for each uh, Darkness Energy attached to all your Pokemon. So, not too bad. Dark Head, it could be a very good one. Think about this. If your opponent is asleep, right, from Abyssal Sleep, and they stay asleep, you hit them for, you know, the 100 and the uh, 20 damage in between turns from poison damage. That's 120. And then you hit them with a dark head. Uh, you know, that's basically a knockout on, on the biggest megas. You know, 240 HP or even, you know, for, for, for like Whale Lord 250. That's going to be, you know, two hit knockout. Pretty easy two hit knockout. Because uh, if you're going to rely on Dark Rai with the poison damage coming into your turn, that's only 120 damage. You're going to be hitting for the 80, you know, plus the plus the muscle band. Or not muscle band. The, um, the Fighting Fury Belt and the Stadium. That's another 100. But you'd be, you'd be doing two 220 in two turns. Uh, but then going to your opponent's turn with the poison damage, uh, they'll be at uh, you know 230, which can knock out most Megas, right? Unless you're, you're using Primal Groudon or you have uh, Whale Lord or something like that. Uh, but, you know, I mean, this Dark Ride, the non EX Dark Ride, can do a lot of damage if they stay asleep. Uh, we will be playing two Shaman EXs here, the 110 HP Colorless Pokemon that was set up. That way you can draw until you have six cards. Again, we're going to be playing Evil Tall here, being able to use Oblivion Wing to cycle in some energy. Plus, he is a basic 130 HP, pretty beefy with the um, Fighting Fury Belt. 
12, adding 40 more HP at 170 is pretty good. Pretty good for a non-EX. Oblivion Wing, again, hits for 30, uh, plus the Stadium, plus the Fighting Fury Belt. Can hit for 50 damage right there, knocking out tiny little basics. And, uh, of course, accelerating energy as well. So that's your Pokemon line. We're going to be using four Max Elixirs, trying to get these energies as fast as we can, get them out into play, uh, put them onto our basics as quick as we can. We do have Super Rod here in case we do lose out in some Zoroarks or uh, Zoruros and things like that. We have four Trainers Mill as well as Ultra Balls, four of these as well. Of course, we need four Via Seekers. I kind of like four of those. Actually, wait, I lied. I only have three Trainers Mill, not four of those. Um... We do have the Hex Maniac, one of these, in case we wanted to shut off abilities. Of course, you want to use your abilities first. Make sure you use your stand-in after you use your uh, Poisonousness, and then you should be all fine and dandy. So you go ahead and use your Hex Maniac to stop your opponent from using Shamans and other uh, abilities, maybe you know, uh, Gren Greninja and stuff like that, Greninja Break. Uh, we have a Lysander here, two of these, actually, not just a Lysander, two Lysanders, being able to drag out a Pokemon from the bench and uh, bring it out to the next spot. This can work very well. Uh, now, for sure... Um, we don't actually hit the bench with anything, but maybe if there's something else more threatening on the bench and you can want to put them to sleep, you know, just drag them out, put them to sleep, work at it really slowly. We have the end right here, four of these, could probably go down to three. We do have, excuse me, Pokemon Ranger, remove all effects of attacks on each player, and his or her Pokemon. So, um, yeah, I mean, no Toad, but yeah, you never know. You know, Pokemon Ranger could be very useful. We have the uh, Professor Sycamore, three of these, being able to discard until uh, discard a hand, draw seven cards. And then we have the Reverse Valley here. I already mentioned that before. We're going to be playing it just for this effect right here. Uh, hopefully we don't run into... Well, we're not going to be running into since we're playing Instrument Man. He's playing a Fire Deck. He's not going to be using Metal, so uh, this is going to be good for us. Um, we have the Fighting Fury Bell. I already mentioned this before. Uh, basic Pokemon get 40 HP, plus they do 10 more damage. That's kind of cool. We have the Float Stone for these Zoroark, two of these for the Stand In and Retreat, reminiscent of the... Uh, uh, you know, Caldeo with Russian Energy. We have the uh, uh, 11 basic energy. So no DCEs for this Dark Ride because he's not a main attacker. We're not going to be using Dark Pulse and Dark Head, you know, slapping down DCEs and hitting for, you know, this Dark Head and stuff like that. Again, we're just going to be focusing on Dark Ride. We just need two of these Darkness Energy, and then, of course, it's Colorless, so we're just going to play another Darkness Energy, three Darkness Energies on this Dark Ride already, and if we can get two Dark Ride Energies on here, Dark Pulse is going to be hitting for at least, you know, 120 or whatever, plus the Muscle Band, stuff like that. So uh, not too many Darkness Energies needing to be on the floor um, on our side of the field to be able to do a lot of damage. Hopefully with uh, Max Elixir, and if we really need to, we use Evil Tall to Oblivion Wing, we can get the job done. Anyways, that's going to be it. Let's go ahead and take a look at Ishelman's deck. Um, let's see here. I want to know, no, not, not collection. Let's go to our deck manager, and we have, let's see, lots of stuff here. All right, so this is the Volcanion deck. Volcanion, Volcanion. I believe I do pronounce that correctly. It is the 180 HP fire and water type dual type Pokemon, and this is the secret rare. I don't actually like the secret rare as much. Um, in his deck, you will see that he does play uh, this copy right here. Uh, this guy has the ability to steam up once during your turn before your attack. You may discard a fire energy card from your hand if you do this uh, during your turn. Your basic fire Pokemon's attack do 30 more damage. Of course, it has to be basic. And they have to be fire type. All right, so that doesn't mean Shaman's going to be able to do 30 more damage. <laughs> Even though it's a basic and he still needs to be a fire type, right? So, uh, Volcanic Heat hits for 130 HP. This Pokemon can attack during your next turn. So, that's something to look out for. It does require two fire energy and, um, and a colorless. So... Um, again, he is going to be playing, uh, was it three escape routes and one switch. So a lot of cards to be able to maneuver. We do have one float stone here in case he can play that on a shaman. He can play that on any one of these guys. They all have some pretty heavy retreat. Uh, everyone has two retreat or more. Of course, this, uh, Volcanion does have three. And the only one that does not have two retreat is the shaman here with one. So, uh, the plan of, of attack for this guy is to try to start off the non-EX Volcanion here, 130 HP fire type Pokemon with power heater hitting for 20 you can attach a fire energy to two of your bench pokemon so again this nice thing is that the bench pokemon don't have to be fire type um you know so you can use this for other decks too but um yeah i mean you can kind of accelerate energy pretty quick with this with one fire energy you can get two back onto your bench and of course you need to have two pokemon I mean, you don't need to have two, two pokemon but to make the full potential of this power heater it's good to have two pokemon on your bench to be able to power up as much as you can so uh we do have a backup attacker and flagrant ex two of these 170 hp fire tech pokemon with the flash fire ability not the flash fire set <laughs> once your turn before your attack you may move a fire energy from one of your pokemon to this pokemon plays ball hits for a base damage of 50 to 
20 more damage for each fire energy. Very similar to Keldeo EX, you know, uh, you know, Keldeo EX was Sacred Sword, or Secret Sword, I forgot what it's called. Uh, weaknesses, uh, water, of course, all these guys are water weakness, and yeah, uh, besides Shaman, Shaman's a lightning weakness. And again, where you mentioned Shaman from my uh, Darkrai deck, but set up, when you play this Pokemon, you can draw into the F6, great. Um, anyways, what else am I missing? Yeah, we were talking about this. Okay, let's look at like, the item cards. Four energy retrievals. Of course, we were going to be playing a lot of these because Steam Up has to discard energy. And, you know, you can reuse, you can trade this energy retrieval to two, for two fire energies and then use your Ultra Ball to discard them again. Uh, something like that can kind of make some interesting combinations with that. I already mentioned the Escape Rope through these and uh, one Switch. Could probably play more Switches, maybe one less of these energy retrievals and maybe one more Switch. We do have four, not four, three Trainer's Mail, four Ultra Balls, four Via Seekers. And then we have a Hex Maniac again to stop abilities. That means he could stop my abilities as well. You know, my Stand In and Retreat could stop my, uh, you know, Iraq. Autos can stop, you know, those kind of things. Um, Lysander, gotta have Lysander in your deck. Of course, Lysander's awesome. And then we have the N as well. I'm not sure how many Ns he's playing. Three Ns, three Lysanders. Wow, lots of Lysanders. That's a little bit heavy. Um, maybe pro probably could have gone with something else. I don't know. Okay, so we see a Pokemon Ranger, one of these, and Professor Sycamore. I believe he's playing four copies of Professor Sycamore. We do have the Scorched Earth, one of these. Three Fighting Fury Belts. That's pretty fun. One float stone and the fire energy. Just straight up 12 fire energies. Probably could trade the fire energy for uh, maybe another Flareon. Maybe perhaps could probably trade one of these energy retrievals for a switch. I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, I mean, a couple things you can take around with this deck. This deck list is pretty basic, pretty straightforward. Just par up this big Volcanion EX. Maybe use the Flareon EX to uh, as a backup for Flash Fire, using Flash Fire to charge them up a little faster. Something like that. That's kind of the gist of it. Let's go ahead and see these decks in action. And. Uh, I mean, of course, I'm not going to be versing, but, you know, it's just, let's just go ahead. And here we go. Ishul Man against a blue golf ball. Ishul Man using the Vol Volcanion deck while I am using my Dark Right deck. Let's go ahead and flip for heads. Thank goodness uh, we get heads, and yes, we are going to go first. That way, we, we're not evolving first, but we will be able to, um, you know, power up first. Oh, my goodness. We got to start with this card here. We're starting with the Shaman EX. Of course, Ishul Man's right next to me. You can hear all my commentary. We're going to try as hard as we can uh, to not, um, you know, be a, <laughs> to not uh, screen watch or anything like that. Now, let's see. Do I want to play this? Probably not. Not right now. Let's go for the Trainer's Mail right here. We do get a Max Elixir here. Very tempted to use that. That's all we got besides two of these Spinner Racks here. I'm going to go ahead and select the Max Elixir. And... Um, now, the only way we can draw some cards at this point is if we um, if we use our Shaman. So, you know what? I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to go ahead and discard uh, the Via Seeker as well as the Energy here. And we're going to go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get our, our other Shaman. So, both of our Shamans are going to be played right now. I'm going to go ahead and play the Full Stone right here. Let's play down our Shaman to draw four extra cards. Let's hopefully we can get a supporter card, plus if we can get some Pokemon, and we do. We get a Fighting Fury Belt. Um, that's great. Not really. All right, so this sounds ridiculous, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually try to Sky Return in the next turn and uh, try to draw some more cards that way. So, call me crazy, but this is the route we're going to take. We still have the Float Stone on this Shaman. That way we can use that for the next turn. We do have a Fighting Fury Belt, which we can play on our Shaman. And then Sky Return everything back into our hand. Alright, so, I'm going to have to do some commentary. So, <laughs> alright, we see... Uh, we see some ultra. I'm gonna be uh, try not to be tempted to look at Ishul Man's screen over there, but I'll still be doing our commentary, of course. We have uh, Ishul Man using Ultra Ball for the Shaman. We do see a Fire Energy get dropped onto the Volcanion EX Shaman here, getting uh, played down onto the bench for three more cards. Volcanion right now uh, does have the ability Steam Up, something, something to look for. Can discard a Fire Energy from his hand, and uh, Ishul Man will be able to do 30 more damage. Um, Oh, I knew it! I knew he was going to counter the stadium. 
And we do see the Scorched Earth here. That is useless to us. But I did want to discard our Stadium just so that, uh, not discard it, but play it. That way we don't have to, um, you know, keep it in our hand. And then Shaman won't be able to draw as many cards. So that's kind of the idea here. Uh, we are playing catch up right now. We've already burnt one of our max elixirs uh, to try to, um, you know, to try to power up the shaman right now. But uh, so one thing for sure is that with this big Volcanion out here uh, with three retreat costs, he's not going to be able to attack in his first turn. Uh, we do get the Zorark. Oh man, I should have played the Floatstone onto the Zorark here, but. Um, you know what? It is what it is. Let's go ahead. We'll play this right here. We'll play that right there. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and retreat. We kind of, kind of wish we had it on the Zorg that we can stand in and retreat. But we wanted to play that Foldstone early so that we can uh, get rid of cards in our hands. So uh, let's go ahead. We're gonna play this Shaman up here. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna be able to knock out the Shaman in this turn. But if he did get that volcanic heat, he would be able to knock out. Knock out that poor shaman in the X spot in one hit, um, which we wouldn't want to do. We do see another fire energy get dropped right here. Uh, can't use Max Elixir since the Volcano is in the X spot. He's going to have to find a way to get him back on the bench to be able to power him up at this turn and then get him back onto the X spot to attack for a one hit knockout. So uh, that's going to be pretty tricky to do. I mean, unless he's got you know a couple switches and a Max Elixir or something like that, but he's already played one energy this turn. Uh, not quite sure. So that's it. He passes the turn and um, couldn't get anything there. So that's okay. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to power up our Zorark here. At least our Zorark should be able to start uh, attacking. Let's go ahead and get rid of some of these. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go for the Evil Tall right now since our Evital uh, would be able to uh, pretty much just power up things on the bench. And uh, it's really quick Oblivion Wing. And we're going to go with that. Of course, Darkrai needs to come out into play at some point. And then uh, we're very, we are very, very slow right now. Just slow to set up. Let's go ahead. We're getting six brand new cards here. We have yet to play a supporter card. Let's go ahead and set up. Let's see if we can get a Darkrai here. We did get a Darkrai. We do have a Zura, which we don't need right now. Let's go ahead and go for that Trainers. Maybe we can get a Max Elixir off of this. And no, no Max Elixirs. We do get this N right here, which I'm going to go ahead and N our hand away. My opponent does have six cards anyway, so it's nothing too beneficial for him unless he had uh, more things in his hand that he may have needed. But, you know, we're going to go with this and see if we can power up our Evil Tall right now. Uh, if not, we could go with the Zoroark and attack that way. Uh, we do have another Fighting Fury Belt. I'm going to go ahead and play it onto our Darkrai. Uh, too bad we couldn't get that Spinner Rack. Let's go. Yeah, we got the energy. Sweet. Let's go ahead and power up our Evil Tall here. We got the Zorark uh, ready to attack in uh, as well for a Mind Jack. Let's go ahead and go for the Oblivion Wing. Get some energy from our discard pile. I uh, got two energy, so we can go ahead and use Oblivion Wing for two times more uh, to get some energy acceleration going. And, uh, yeah, we could really use that spinner rack. That would be most helpful. So the Volcanion right now is already at 80 damage. We do see the fire energy drop right there. He could go ahead and discard another fire energy if he has it. Then he would get the knockout on an Evil Tall. Actually, no, not quite. Uh, he would get 30 more damage plus the 130. Our Evil Tall here would survive by one uh, damage counter, 10 HP uh left if he did do that otherwise the 130 hp would be able to knock out the base but because we have the um fighting fury belt we will survive the turn thank goodness we played that fighting fury belt earlier uh now we could go ahead and play the dimension uh, the reverse valley right now i think it's probably a good time to use it we can go ahead and hit for 10 more uh, we don't have much of a hand. I'm going to go ahead and end our hand. I know my opponent's going to be getting one extra card off of this, but I'd like to get some energy at the very least. Uh, we do get the spinner act. That is just fabulous. All right, so uh, problems, problems, problems right now. We have a lot of problems right now in terms of what can we do. Let's go ahead. We will power up. Uh, we do have a chance to power up the dark Darkrai right here. Um, we can go ahead and retreat with the Evil Tall. Uh, we can, uh, if we did, mm, this is pretty tricky, pretty tough right here. Uh, I think I might just have to go with the Oblivion Wing and, uh, play the energy onto the Shaman. Maybe the Shaman can be useful for retreating, but we do need the other Foldstone. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and, uh, we are going to have to, uh, this is a tough call. Very tough call. Um, hmm. All right, you know what? We're going to go for this. Let's go ahead. We're just going to hit Oblivion Wing. 
Use Zivotar right there as a buffer for the next turn. Let's go ahead and we're gonna play this onto, you know, we'll, we'll just play it onto the Shaman. Maybe we might even do a Sky Return at some point for another 30 damage. This Volcanion is at 50 HP left. They do have a Pokemon Ranger. Here is a Fighting Fury Belt getting played onto this Volcanion, of course. Now he's at 170 HP. Very impressive. He's gonna be doing 10 more damage for that Power Heater. Gonna be able to hit us for 30 damage and also attaching two energy uh, to his bench Pokemon. Pokemon. I think for only his, yeah, for any of his uh, Pokemon, two fire energies, uh, one each to each of his bench Pokemon, so kind of fun, right? It's kind of like a shot of power kind of thing, not really, um, kind of a little bit like Oblivion Wing, but a little weaker and can do two Pokemon at a time, um, but yeah, so bummer, he's got two retreat costs, same as our Evil Tall here, but you know, I'd rather take 30 damage over 20, uh, but I guess, you know, for the 20 damage here for one fire energy, you are... Uh, doing a little bit more. Oh, we see an escape rope. Oh, man. Okay, so this is a tough call here. Do we sacrifice? Uh, let's see. What's going to happen here? You know what? We're just going to uh, throw this dark right out there. Maybe we can just start using the uh, Abyssal Sleep right about now. We do see this Volcanion. So he opted not to. Well, again, Volcanic Heat, he wasn't able to attack this turn. So he's going to have to find a way. Uh, to either play another switch after that escape rope and he could potentially knock us out since we're only at 150 HP if he uses an energy card to discard uh, another fire energy he's, he's got one in the discard pile uh, he could potentially hit us for 160 that would be a knockout on our dark ride we do see the switch there it is there is the volcanion he is going to go for the volcanic heat 130 does not knock us out he didn't have the energy in his hand and so we are in luck here our dark ride here survives a turn amazingly we survived the turn we do have a couple things that we can use. I'm going to go ahead and use the Sycamore here. And I'm just going to discard my hand away. I do have one more Dark Eye. If this Dark Eye does get knocked out, and this Zorark going to uh, be lost right now. So let's go. We're just going to discard our hand uh, and take a look and see what can we get out here. We do get some more energy. We don't get the the uh, the Erratos. That is a bummer. That is huge right there, folks. No Erratos. Nothing happening here. Can't knock this guy out. He's got, he's got 50 right here. We could go... Um, Let's see here. We're gonna we would be able to knock him out. Uh, you know what? We're actually gonna. Uh, man, kind of sad, but I'm gonna power up this evil tall. You never know when a darkness blade can come in handy. Let's go ahead. We're gonna stand in. We're just gonna mind jack for the knockout, and hopefully we can get a uh, a Fold stone at some point. Let's go ahead and mind jack hit this guy for 110 damage increase from the reverse valley right there. Let's go ahead and draw two prize cards can we get oh man we did get a super rod that's kind of nice we do have um a couple pokemon in the discard pile no energies as of yet here is the volcanion here he's going to be able to power up another one of these volcanion ex my goodness dual type right here and again the fighting fury but we see an end we are getting end down to four cards can we get that erratos and finally be able to use uh you know our combination still no float stone for our zorark so that's a bit of a bummer, pretty depressing, um, but we're just going to have to pay the retreat cost again. Our Evil Tall can recycle in some energies back. Of course, we can use the Super Rod to uh, shuffle in some energies. Uh, we can try doing that. We're going to get hit with a Power Heater hitting us uh, for quite a bit. We do have this Via Seeker here, so looking really good. We're going to be able to do quite a bit right now. Uh, we're going to be able to use basically our whole hand. And, I'm, man, I, I don't want to discard this N, but we're going to have to because I'd rather get that. My opponent does have six cards, and uh, we might as well could. No, I don't want to play an N. That's that's just silly. Let's not do that. So um, I'm going to pay their tree costs here. I'm going to regret it because what if? Um, hmm. All right, here we go. All right, let's go ahead. We will use Poisonous Ness. All right, so both of us are going to get poisoned. My Zork is going to retreat. All right, so um, let's go ahead and pay the retreat cost. Oh, that hurts. There we go. It's two energies. And now let's go ahead and use our Super Rod. Get back. Uh, we'll probably go back with the Darkrai. And um, sure, we'll go back with the two energies. Keep that Zork in the discard pile. Uh, now let's go ahead and use our Via Seeker. We are going to be down to only 11 cards, but I think we should be pretty safe uh, after, I mean, we may be able to still need an N at some point to try to 
thin out our hand and put some more cards in there. Like, oh my goodness, we get we did get the fold stone. Here is the fold stone. Now we have that stand in and retreat. Let's go ahead and go for the abyssal sleep and for 80 damage plus the fighting fear belt plus the stadium card. And now he's got to flip two times. And he got tails, and so he is not going to wake up. And this guy is going to go down in the next turn. We should be able to get a clean knockout. Now, we do have... No, we don't. We don't have uh, the Lysander in there. If we did, if we did have Lysander, we would be able to Lysander out this uh, big Volcanon EX and just kind of keep putting him to sleep, let him get hurt by the poison damage, use our Zoroark to stand in and retreat to uh, take off the poison damage from our Darkrai right there. So... Another Volcanion EX. I don't know how many plays. I believe he might play four. And so we, uh, we're looking not too good right now. The Volcanion EX, uh, we can still see switches. We can still see escape ropes. You never know what we can have in store. Uh, the Volcanion right now is definitely getting powered up. Again, the Volcanion can knock us out. Uh, even if we had full health, he would be able to knock us out one shot using his ability to steam up. And there it is. There is the escape rope. So... Now, this is getting a little frightening here. Of course, he didn't play, um, what is it, Max Elixir. So, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of throw out the Shaman right now for temporarily, just right now. Um, and see if uh, this, the Shaman can survive the turn. <laughs> of course, we can see something like an Energy Switch. I don't, I don't think he plays Energy Switch. <laughs> I should know. I mean, I mean, come on. All right, so... Um, Flare on EX, again, Flash Fire can move energies and stuff like that. Oh my goodness, here it is. We see a Lysander. Uh, is there an energy switch? Is there some way uh, the Max Elixir is not going to work on the Volcanion because the Volcanion is in the active spot. He's not on the bench anymore. Uh, so he won't be able to um, to do that. But we'll have to find out, um, see if anything can happen here. Otherwise, he may just have to pass the turn. We'll be able to poison him again with Poisonous Ness. Stand in, retreat, take off the poisons from our Dark Rite. Hit him with Abyssal Sleep one more time. We see the Via Seeker. Here is the Lysander. Lysander uh, is, is going to be very deadly. He's going to be able to drag out the Evil Taller here. A quick knockout. Going to be able to drag out the Zark Art there. A quick knockout there as well. Um, yeah, we, we are in trouble if we do see... Something else happened here. Uh, we could see another switch. Uh, we can see the volcano come back into the X spot. Wait, I, I don't. I, I just didn't. I didn't see. What, what did he? What did he grab there? Oh, he drew his VS Seeker. Okay. All right. So he could still have a switch or another escape roll or something like that. I believe he does play a lot of copies. Two of them are already here. One copy of switch is already in here. Um, we can still see it happen. Here's another uh, trainer's mail. I should be able to get him something else. We've seen N. Uh, he already played a, a trainer a supporter card this turn. So. Ishmael man is not going to be able to do anything there. Uh, otherwise, uh, we could still see that switch, could still see that escape rope, and then of course the Volcanion here can hit us for a power heater. Get this Volcanion EX with full HP right now. And no, that said, he passes the turn, and we are going to go ahead and just go with the Poisonous Nest once again. I'm going to go and power up this Zorark here. Our Zorark with Mind Jack is doing some very ridiculous damage right now. Oh, I'm not going to retreat like that. Let's go ahead, stand in, remove the poison damage from our Darkrai. And let's go ahead and retreat right here. And let's go for our Abyssal Sleep, hitting for 100 damage. Good night. Good night, Volcanion. He's going to have to flip twice and only got one heads, one tails. He stays asleep. And that's, he's going to have to find a way to get this Volcanion out of the active spot. If not, he's going to go down. He needs to find a switch uh, or an escape rope. Uh, otherwise, I, I don't see any way for this guy to wake up unless he does play something like, uh, uh, what is those things called? Uh, we do see a, uh, oh my goodness, yes, yes, the Pokemon Ranger was able to remove effects, I believe, right? If we remove effects of attacks. Oh, yeah, it's of attacks. Yes, that's right. This is actually effects of an ability, so that did not remove the, um, uh, the poison, nor did it not move the... Uh, uh, no, that's odd. Let's see here. It should be remove all effects of attacks on each player and his or her Pokemon. So um, the, the sleep is actually an effect of my attack, uh, but I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe that's the ruling. Maybe the ruling is that the, uh, this Volcanium would still stay asleep. Um, I'm not positive, but anyways, we do see a flash fire. Yes, flash fire is gonna start powering up the Flareon EX over there, and that's it. He does stay asleep <laughs> because of the double flip. The double flip keeps him asleep, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the knockout here. But um, the Flareon is gonna be able to knock us out next. So 
what am I gonna what am I actually gonna do? Um let's see here. Uh let's go ahead, we'll get this darkness blade here powered up. That is a backup attack that we can definitely use. Uh, hitting for a hundred. Now, let's see, we could get the knockout here, but we're gonna have to deal with this flare on anyways. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna Lysander out this flare on right now. And uh, again, so both both this Volcana is easy to knock out for our Evil Tall or for our Zoroark. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go for the Poisonous Nest. Poison the Flareon, poison our Dark Rider. We're gonna stand in and retreat. Uh, let's go ahead and stand in. Uh, thank goodness Hex Maniac wasn't played. I wouldn't be able to use both the Poisonous Nest, nor would I be able to use the stand in. And so there we go. We're gonna remove the poison right there. Let's go ahead with the Abyssal Sleep. Hit for 100 damage. Put this Flareon to sleep and hope. Uh, a Sh Ishul man would not flip two heads. We got one heads and one tails. Again, he stays asleep. <laughs> oh man, Ishul man, he's shaking his head over there in frustration. Oh, we do see the energy retrieval. Here is two fire energy. No, only one fire energy in his discard pile. I thought Ishul man had more than that, but uh, we do see was that two VS Seekers, one N in there. We have two escape ropes. Um, and one switch already, so he should still have a couple of escape ropes. I think he does play four copies, either four copies or he plays uh, four copies of the switch. Uh, we see, is that a flash fire? Did he use a, did he play that from his hand? Oh no, we see an end. We're gonna get end down to four cards. I kind of liked my hand, but that's okay. Um, let's see here. Let's see the game log right there. Drew cards, drew cards, play an end. Attached. Okay, so he attached the energy. We see the escape rope. Oh, man, this is going to be tricky because uh, the escaper's going to put... Okay, you know what? Hmm. I'm going to have to... You know, this is going to be a kind of a foolish move. We could end up sacrificing two energies right there, but we're going to feed the Shaman EX right now and hope for the best. No, we see the Volcanion. The Volcanion is going to be able to uh, energy accelerate if... If Ishelman had energy in his discard pile, but there is no battle compressor, he could get some energy in his discard pile by playing Ultra Ball, using Ultra Ball to discard two fire energies, get those two fire energies back onto his bench using Power Heater. That can definitely happen. Otherwise, right now, he is pretty much stuck. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he can do. Uh, if anything, uh, you know, he could do that. Maybe power up one. We see a Flash Fire that's able to move the energy from the injured Volcanion EX onto... Uh, the Flareon EX, who's also injured as well, mind you. He's uh, This Flareon's only at 60 HP. We get hit for the 30, and that's it. So right now, uh, tough decision. Uh, not much we can do right now. So let's see here. Um, we can poison him. Uh, let's see. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're just going to take the knockout, I think. Uh, hmm. Either that, or we go with a setup and poison setup. Let's see, that would be taking him down to 20 HP. We can go ahead and knock out with just a mind jack. Kind of at risk right now. At risk for a lot of things. Right now, I'm playing chess right now. Basically, if we knock out this Volcanion, he's going to be able to knock out just about anything, really. Um, he's going to be able to knock out our Zorark with the Flareon EX. We'll be, if he has Lysander, he can drag anything out right now. Uh, pretty tough call. So what we're going to do is we're just going to take out the immediate threat. So let's go ahead. We're going to take out the immediate okay. threat. So this is pretty much what's going to happen. I think I think if we would have used anything to knock out the Volcanion, I'm pretty sure he would have just taken the flare around and knocked us out. So let's go ahead. We will just stand in and um, I'm actually going to go ahead and just use uh, the Zorark for Mind Jack. Actually, you know what? The safer move is to... We're just going to use the Evil Tall. The Evil Tall's uh, Darkness Blade is... You know, it's not as big of, you know, I'm not as worried if the Evil Tall goes down. I'd rather keep the Dark Rai because the Dark Rai is much more valuable. Let's go ahead and grab their two more prizes here. We have another Sycamore as well as a Hex Maniac. So there we go. Could have used the Hex Maniac earlier to just prevent my opponent from using the Flash Fire ability. But uh, it's okay. Hex Maniac was prized the whole time. We do have the Evil Canyon back out here. We'll be able to Energy Accelerate, put some more energy onto the field. And um, there is four fire energy in the discard pile for Ishul Man. He will be able to power him up, but the Volcanion is going to get knocked out. Again, remember, our, our Oblivion Wing is hitting for already 40, 50 damage. 
he does have 60 HP, but because we can stand in and retreat, we can actually use Darkness Blade to clean up this Volcanion. Of course, the prize exchange is not that great. Oh no, we do get Lysander out. The Darkrai is out in the X spot now. And we, Darkrai is... No, our Darkrai. Oh no, Darkrai, you're gone. Okay, so uh, this part's a little bit tricky. Um... He could make a huge comeback here. We could see an N. We can get N down to nothing. Uh, let's go ahead and bring our Evil Tall here. Evil Tall will be able to knock out this Volcanion in one shot. We do get another Dark Ride right here, which is really good. So what we're going to do, this works out very well. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and play Hex Maniac. Before we do that, let's go ahead and go for the Poisonous Ness. Okay. Poisoning both the Volcanion and our Evil Tall. We're going to stand in and retreat. Use Oblivion Wing. Hit for 30 plus 10 plus 10. That's 50 plus poison damage. That's a perfect knockout on the Volcanion with 60 HP. Leaving our Dark Ride, our, our Evil Tall that's injured in the active spot. And at the same time, Oblivion Wing will allow us to um, power up. You know, we're going to go... Um, yeah, we're going to keep the end. We're just going to go with Hex Maniac right now. That way we don't see... Uh, another Flareon on the bench moving energy around. So let's go ahead and yeah, we'll just go Hex Maniac right now. Uh, so let's go and go for the Oblivion Wing. Bring back a Fire Energy. We're going to have... Uh, not Fire Energy, what am I talking about? We're, we're going to have to... Um, sky Return. As strange as it sounds, we're going to have to Sky Return and bring back some energy. We do have a Max Elixir, but let's see. One, two, three, four, five... Uh, eight energies plus there's two in here. That's ten energies. Uh, we do have two energies left. Could the other one could be in here? At minimum, we do have one energy here. So very likely we should be able to get an energy off of our deck. Should be able to power up this dark right here. And uh, we really need to energy accelerate some more. So oh no, we're gonna get hit with an N comeback time for Volcanion and Ishel man. It's gonna happen here, folks. We're not going to be able to power up our Darkrai fast enough. Again, we do have our Zoroark here that can hit for a pretty heavy amount of damage. We do see a Lysander here. Lysander is going to go ahead and drag out perhaps the Shaman. That'll be an easy two prize knockout. And that's two energy cards that I was hoping to retrieve that I'm not going to be able to get anymore if he does choose the Shaman EX. However, he can attack. Um, perhaps he could get rid of the Aerodos with the Poison Snest, could get rid of the Zoroark with the uh, Mind Jack and Stand In, could go for a Dark Eye EX. Never mind, he just takes out the Evil Tall here. Oh, wait, he already played a support of that turn. That's right, he played N. That's why we're down to one card. I'm going to go ahead and use the Zoroark right now. Um, so. Uh, this is going to be the game. We do have the Via Seeker. We're going to go ahead and grab the Lysander. GG. GG, Ishel Man. We're going to grab out this injured uh, Volcanion and let's go for the Mind Jag. Hitting for the knockout right there. 140 damage. And that's going to be the game right there. All right. Well, oh, that was not too bad. Oh, man. Okay. Well, here we go. Uh, pretty pretty good pretty good matchup right there um, both of us uh, at least you know the prize exchange was okay I think a lot of the momentum was going our way early a uh, huge comeback was gonna happen with Volcanion especially with that N putting me down to one card Volcanion was super powered up could, and he did via Seeker for a uh, Lysander next turn could have been able to get two easy prizes uh, knocking out our Shaman uh, would have been down to two prizes for him. We'd have been down to one, but luckily we he end us into that VS Seeker, and we were able to get uh, the Lysander drag out the injured Volcanion and knock him out and take the win. So that's gonna be it for this video. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, that's it. Let's go ahead and open a pack at the end of the video, which we always do. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and what kind of pack are we gonna open this time around? All right then. Oh, what am I doing? This is my cards. All right. Hey, let's open. I got a lot of things that we can open in a single pack. I'm going to open this right here. This is a uh, golden treasure chest. Let's see if we can find something amazing in this. And here we go. We got 20 more tokens. And is this an EX? Is this? Oh, it's a barrier septile, 140 HP. That's it. All right. Well, that's going to be it for this video. If you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. If you guys are returning subscribers, thanks so much for being a part of this channel. If you guys take care. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.